Welcome back to Pwn to Own Miami for 2020. We're entering our third and final day, and we've got a whole slate of amazing research to discover. The day began with quite a bit of drama, as Steven Seeley and Chris Anastasio of the Insight team took all but four seconds off the clock to get their code execution working on the Rockwell Automation Studio 5000. This heart racing demonstration earned them $20,000 and 20 points towards Master of Pwn, and it certainly had everyone in the room sweating. Next up, the team from Clarity Research targeted a DOS exploit against the Triangle Microworks SCADA data gateway in the DNP3 category. They were able to successfully demonstrate their denial of service. However, the bug had been previously reported. This counts as a partial win and earned them two and a half Master of Pwn points. In his first Pwn to Own entry, Michael Stepankin of Veracode targeted the inductive automation ignition in the control server category. He was able to successfully demonstrate his code execution, but his bug had also been previously reported. This partial win did get him 12 and a half Master of Pwn points. The Insight team returned, this time with a little bit less drama. They were targeting the OPC Foundation, OPC UA.NET standard framework, and were able to successfully create a denial of service condition. They earned themselves $5,000 and five points towards Master of Pwn. Those five points ended up being pretty important down the road. They came right back, this time targeting the Iconix Genesis 64 in the control server category. They used a deserialization bug to get code execution with continuation. That's another $25,000 and 25 points towards Master of Pwn. That put them in a commanding lead for Master of Pwn with an astonishing 92.5 points in total. The Clarity Research Team also wasn't done. They came back to use a combination of bugs to get code execution with continuation on the Rockwell Automation Factory TalkView SE. This earned them another $25,000 and 25 points towards Master of Pwn. Next up, Tobias Shranovsky, Nicholas Breitfield, and Ali Abbasi came back to target the Triangle Microworks Skated Data Gateway in the DNP3 category. They were successful in getting their code execution with continuation, and this earned them $25,000 and 25 points towards Master of Pwn. That puts their total at 87.5 points. Ben McBride of the Oak Ridge National Laboratory returned to target the inductive automation ignition and the control server category. He was able to demonstrate his code execution, but his bug had previously been reported. He still earns 12.5 points towards Master of Pwn for this partial win. Our final entry of the entire contest was actually a Pwn to Own newcomer. Lucas Georges of Synactive took the stage to close out the contest by targeting the Rockwell Automation Factory Talk View SE in the HMI category. He was able to demonstrate his code execution, but his bug had been previously reported. He earns 12 and a half Master of Pwn points for this partial win. That brings to a close our first ever Pwn to Own Miami for 2020. Recapping the Master of Pwn points, Lucas Georges, Michael Stepankin, and Fabius Artrell each had 12 and a half. Ben McBride finished with 25 points. The Clarity Research Team had 65 points. The flashback team of Pedro Ribeiro and Radek Domanski finished with 75 points. In second place, Tobias Shonarski, Nicholas Breitfield, and Ali Abbasi had 87.5 points. And the Master of Pwn winner for the first ever Pwn to Own Miami goes to the Insight team of Steven Seeley and Chris Anastasio with 92.5 points. Just five points separated the first and second place entries in the Master of Pwn competition. What a contest. Let's hear from the contestants themselves, what they thought about the contest and some tips for future participants. First one is don't be afraid. There are a lot of people I know congratulating me for participating and I know these people very well. I know they're very skilled, some even more skilled than me. And I asked them, why do you don't go? And it's, they find all kinds of, of excuses. You shouldn't be too afraid of the complexity. Just put in, be persistent, and you will have some emotional roller coasters. We sure had with uh, some of the exploits. We had to get very crafty in some places to actually get it. And I was very close to like dropping one of the exploits, for example. But then I was very happy about having a solution for that. Always be prepared for um, bug collisions. If you can have like multiple bugs, definitely, definitely try to achieve that. Don't feel defeated. Yeah. Just keep trying, you know? You you know, you just gotta build it up, you know, you cannot reach here and get master mm -hmm. of phone, you gotta build it up slowly. Don't give up, 
uh, definitely read as much of other people's work as you can. I, I love that ZDI has the blog post for select exploits that they let out. There's always a ton of good info in there. That brings to a close our first ever Pondo in Miami. It's been an amazing contest full of some amazing research. We want to thank all of the contestants. We want to thank our host, the S4 Conference. And of course, we want to thank all the vendors that participated. We'll see you in Canada in March for Pondo in Vancouver. <laughs>